All right. So we should do a quick, with all of that data, we should do a really quick refresher on, you know, the balance of humectants, emollients, inclusives, and what we do. Yeah. So to kind of quickly refresh everyone's minds on the constituents of a yeah. moisturizer, you have your humectants. Mm -hmm. These are the water stuff. Think panthenol, uh, glycerin, hyaluronic acid, like beta-glucan, even lactic acid at low levels is considered a humectant. Sodium PCA, NMFs, yep. So um, check out our blog post for kind of a, a more detailed rundown of the humectants. And what they do is they act as water grabbers. Um, the top layer of your skin is mostly a crunchy beef volunteer. It is dry, but you don't want it to be crunchy. No. So the water substance help make it pliable. And the presence of water also help improve and upkeep your cell function, which is to say it will turn over at a much more normal pace. Mm -hmm. um, and that's humectants. Next, we have emollients. Yeah, so emollients, these are your light face oils. They are going to smooth the surface of skin. They're going to help, like, honestly, just visually make your skin look less scaly and mm -hmm. add that glow back into skin. And really, these can serve, these can be especially helpful for oily skin types, even though the thought of oil sounds scary, because these actually can serve as almost like a lighter version of occlusives to kind of add a little bit of that oily nourishment back into skin. Um, it can be incredibly helpful because remember, humectants cannot operate alone because these want to evaporate out of skin. So you need something that's going to really help with managing all of that water content. Yep. Last but definitely not least, we have occlusives. And these are your more hardcore butters, waxes, petrolatum. Mm -hmm heavier substances that can help uh, that can actually improve tool yeah they are there to seal in moisture yeah. prevent water evaporation uh heavier molecular weight dimethicone can also function like mm -hmm. this and this is definitely one category i feel like that gets tossed under the bus immediately during summer month because the higher the water mm -hmm. uh the uh, waxy substances it Moisturizers can feel a little heavy, mm -hmm. but I will say as someone with dry skin, this is still a category I cannot go without even during summer. Yeah, it's also, I mean, yes, it doesn't necessarily feel great in mm -hmm. hotter climates, but especially for chap skin, lips, elbow, like my elbow is so dry right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need inclusive. So yes, um, still necessary and helpful during summer. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. So I guess to sum up the moisturizer section, Toriel, what do you do <laughs> during summer? Everything stays the same. Okay, so I typically am using a humectant serum, in, uh, which is our Aquafix, and our moisturizer, Mr. Reliable. That's usually my staple, but in the summer months, and especially if we're traveling to mm -hmm. Asia, I usually just only need Aquafix, and I am good. Mm-hmm. Recently, now that I'm breaking out like a teenager because of the pregnancy hormones, I only need Aquafix like day in and day out and that's it. Mm -hmm. So that's my life right now and that's really the only changes I'm going through with my moisturizer routine. Yeah, so Victoria takes a uh, classic approach of really dialing back close to zero on the occlusives and Pretty volumes. much, yeah. Me, I am more or less pretty consistent mm -hmm. my typical routine is aquafix followed by mr reliable both morning and night obviously morning i follow with sunscreen but during summer i tend not to need the frill stuffs. Mm -hmm. like during winter that's still my staple yeah but depend uh, depending on my mood i typically add a drop or two of the oil yeah. i almost always need to use the balm around mm -hmm. places where i tend to develop drier patches mm -hmm. During summer, I can be a little bit floofy about when I need that occlusive. Um, I was going to ask, do you slug during summer? I don't slug. Okay. I think that's a little heavy-handed. At okay. least I just don't love the texture. Okay. Uh, and I, I do tend to, I, I typically don't develop dry patches during um, during summer. Yeah. For me, it's actually sensitivity. Mm. So if I'm out in the sun for a really long time, Yes, I've tried to be good with reapplication, <laughs> wear a hat, Reveal. the works. But sometimes when you're out for a long time and you're sweaty, reapplication yeah. isn't great. That's true. Sometimes I still get that flush afterwards. Totally. And I feel like something about beaches tend to, like, it feels terrible on the skin afterwards. Totally. And 
uh, I know we're, or, um, this is jumping ahead, but I would say probably one of the main reasons why I dial back so much of that oil content is because we're sunscreening. And I yeah. just feel like the sunscreens add enough Oily oil for enough. me. Yeah. 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 For real. And so for me, uh, if I have the sensitivity patches, that's where the occlusives come in. Yeah. But otherwise, lightweight moisturizers will do the job for me. Yeah, totally. I would also say this is probably for those of you um, looking at toners and like mm -hmm. milky essences. This is where some of those steps can be enough. I think the milky essence is more than, you know, the water, just straight water stuff. But yeah, that was just one thing I, I wanted to add, especially because it looks like milky essences are very popular right yeah, now. Yeah, thing. And I will say, <laughs> as someone with dry skin, those don't do it for me. I think no. I think that there's a misconception that people with dry skin love heavy, greasy textures. That yeah. Is, at least for me, that is so not true. I still yeah. like light, refreshing, yeah. yet nourishing textures. And I feel like these milky essences sometimes like... They're just milky. That doesn't mean yeah. they're more hydrating. Yeah, for sure. And a lot of the formulas we've seen are really light, even light on the humectant. So yeah. it definitely doesn't replace your standard moisturizer. Totally, totally. 